Prevention of Fire Ship Construction Arrangements Fire can be prevented from spreading by stopping heat transfer. Ships are constructed with due consideration to fire protection, fire detection and fire extinction. These structural arrangements and characteristics are Division of ship into main vertical zones by bulkheads that can withstand certain temperatures and structural supports. Accommodation spaces is an independent zone by itself and not part of another zone. Provision of fire detection system Features to confine any fire breakout only to that location. Access for fire fighting Well protected escape routes Fire prevention appliances readily available Less or no possibility of ignition for a flammable cargo vapor Means of escape In addition to the constructional features for fire prevention, ships are provided with means of escape for the crew during a fire. Some of these features include All stairways and ladders lead to the lifeboat on embarkation deck. There shall be two escape routes from below deck. There must be two escape routes from any fire zones. For corridors with only one route of escape, the length of the corridor should not be more than 13 meter if more than 36 passengers, should not be more than 7 meter if less than 36 passengers. In the engine room, there should be two escape routes spread as widely as possible. One escape route leads to lifeboat or embarkation deck. Lift is not considered as an escape means. All escape stairways must be made of steel and enclosed between bulkheads of Class A divisions. Inserting of tanks In case of tanks which carry highly flammable liquids, the oxygen content in the cargo tanks should be reduced considerably to reduce the hazard of explosion. This process is known as inerting. Inert gas has less than 8% of oxygen and these usually come from A. Main or auxiliary boiler exhaust gas B. Independent inert gas generator These gases must be cooled and water sprayed by scrubbers to ensure that they are free from soot and sulfuric acids when they reach the cargo tanks. Gas freeing of tanks Entries into tanks are dangerous because there could be lack of oxygen, presence of toxic and flammable gas, poor physical conditions of the tanks. In order to prevent the accumulation of flammable vapors, and to ensure the air inside a tank is breathable, venting is carried out. Venting is normally carried out naturally or by mechanical fans. An example of natural venting in a discharged cargo tank while a ship is moving is shown in the graphic.